Two college students who say they witnessed what appeared to be police brutality in Detroit grabbed their cell phones and started recording it. But then they say police came after them and their video. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russo has more. It was after the Ford International Fireworks in Detroit last year. Eastern Michigan University political science student Adam Malinowski and Oakland University journalism student Mikhail Richards say as they rode their bicycles past Grand Circus Park, they saw police struggling with a man. Police were in a big circle around this man, uh, you know, sort of beating him over the head. He was on the ground and looked totally helpless. So we were very compelled to begin documenting this. He asked you to back up, didn't he? I'm allowed to, I'm allowed to, I have a legal right to do this. They said, you know, back the F off. Next thing I know, like that, you know, across the face. And I was on the ground, and I turned around and I said, did you get that on camera? Two officers came up to me, one put me in a headlock, uh, reached, in, my phone was in my pocket at this point, reached into my pocket, took it out, smashed it on the ground. One officer, he takes my phone out of my back pocket. He just starts going through it, and I can see him tapping on things. I know he deleted, you know, footage off my phone. This is the only clip that was left on his phone. What you're doing right now is interfering. While these two college students say police were able to destroy most of the video recorded on their cell phones, police were not able to destroy video recorded by surveillance cameras on top of this building. Now this video is evidence in a lawsuit filed this month in federal court. Their attorney says it shows they were an appropriate distance from police. The two spent about 20 hours in jail and were charged with interfering with a city official. While Adam accepted a plea, he says to avoid trial, McCall fought it and the charge was dismissed. Attorney Sean Godwin says they never should have been charged, confronted or arrested. They have a right to record suspected police brutality. 12 years of the Department of Justice oversight for excessive force, and yet it still continues. Seven Action News reached out to the police department for comment, but got no response. In Detroit, Kim Russell, Seven Action News.